So the bloodborne pathogen standard applies to any and all employees who may have an occupational exposure to some sort of a potentially infectious material. To comply with OSHA standards, we are required that you hear this information um, upon initial assignment and then we do have to give you the information again every year. So whether you work for Western Dubuque or you work for some other district somewhere else, it's, it's still a requirement of your employment. So what are blood pathogens? They are basically infectious microorganisms that can cause disease in humans. And the thing that you need to remember about these particular organisms are that they do have a risk for serious or life-threatening illnesses if by chance you would end up getting in contact with one of them. So there are many blood-borne organisms out there, and as we all know, there are many hepatitis strains out there, but the three that we are most concerned about with this presentation for you to learn about every year in the school setting are hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. So those are the three that we will be covering today in this presentation. Why do we worry about this in the school setting? And as we know, your risk of transmission is low in the school setting, and typically if somebody is exposed in the school setting, it's going to be during first aid or kind of like through accident cleanup and, and janitorial work. Um, prevention is the best policy, so that's why we are mandated every year to provide this information to you. Universal precautions is basically the concept that we consider all infectious materials, um, no matter where they came from or what the source would be, that we consider them to be infectious. And you can't look at the perceived status of the source individual because bloodborne pathogens can affect all ages, any socioeconomic class, rural, inner city. Um, basically, you can't judge by looking at somebody who may be infected and who may not.
in conclusion, I just want you to remember that typically most school staff are not at high risk of exposure, um, and most of the time exposures do not result in infection. Um, consi re always remember your hand washing is the best prevention. Um, again, it's, it's just one of those things that we need to remind you of every year using best practices, but you are not at high risk in the school setting. The Bloodborne Pathogen Standard Fact Sheet is something that we are supposed to provide copies of to all staff members. So I just put the website on here in case anybody ever wants to go ahead and download that or look at it. So I'm just providing you with that information as required under the OSHA standard. And again, we are required that we allow you to ask questions as needed. At one point in time, we did have an interactive discussion board available. So at this point in time, I'm just going to tell you that if you have any questions or comments, just feel free to talk to one of your school nurses, and we will help you through whatever the situation may be.